Uh, Nasrin is a lovely 46-year-old mother who is very well known to a lot of activists in Iran. Nasrin is an attorney. Uh, she was a journalist before she became an attorney. She's a mother of two. She's a defender of human rights. She believes in freedom of speech. Really a public advocate and a public intellectual who has bravely fought for her principles and for the goals that she set for herself against great odds in Iranian society. Nasrin is a very sincere friend and she's a very good mother uh, for her children. These two characteristics were very important for me, what I saw in Nasrin. In a time when men and women throughout the Middle East and North Africa are standing up for dignity, human rights, and for free expression, Nasrin Saw Today stands for these essential values. Now the world stands with her. Uh, back in early 1991, she got together with a group of uh, like-minded intellectuals and journalists, and they started a journal called Goftegu, or Dialogue. And she was on the editorial board of that uh, journal, and she was the only woman on that editorial board. By 1995, she had completed her studies, had passed the bar exam, uh, but because of her political beliefs and opinions, the intelligence ministry simply would not allow uh, her lawyer's permit to be issued. It took eight years before they would let her to practice law. Nasrin has worked tirelessly in the One Million Signatures campaign. It's the grassroots movement uh, that is trying peacefully uh, to change the discriminatory laws against women. Nasrin is a lawyer. And a large part of what she's done is just try to apply, as a lawyer, her training and her knowledge to secure the rights under Iranian law and the Iranian constitution of her clients. It's outrageous. She was exposing how they are using the judicial process without any basis simply for political vendetta and putting people to death or behind bars for very lengthy periods. She challenges a regime that praises the protests in the streets of Egypt, Tunisia, and Libya, while suppressing its own with violence and imprisonment. And now she has become a symbol of this hypocrisy. The seeds of her incarceration started with the 2009 presidential protests. On June 12, 2009, security forces started to uh, seek, search for, and detain hundreds of people, people who were journalists, writers, intellectuals, students, uh, women's rights activists. Whatever happened in those elections, Iranians should have been free to talk about it. They should have been free to say what they thought. They should have been free to get out on the street and peacefully express their views about what happened. In September 2010, um, they detained her and ever since have held her in solitary confinement. I was not physically tortured, although that does happen there. There's also something called white torture, which doesn't leave a mark on your body and is not as easily verifiable once the prisoner is released. But it does devastate one's mind and conscience, and I'm quite sure that Nasreen has been put under a great deal of this kind of you know, white torture or this, this psychological pressure. And the charges they bring against her, again, are completely vague and uh, don't have any specifics in them. Sometimes you get offered, uh, if you make a certain so-called confession, which um, is oftentimes a false confession about yourself or others, that you can get out of prison sooner. This is the deal that many of the captors try to make with prisoners. Those who stand up to those pressures and don't make agreements are more likely to stay in prison for much longer, and that is what seems to have happened with Nasreen. Our commitment to these people around the world whom we honor by giving them the award is to do what we can. Our aim is to focus on the case, get people here and around the world to see what is happening in Iran, uh, a country, I mean a country with magnificent literary history, wonderful traditions which are really being betrayed. We've given 46 awards in 25 years of the 36 who were in jail at the time, 33 have gotten out. And that is a, 
record that even I didn't anticipate. This award proves to Nasreen that she is not alone. It proves to Nasreen that her voice has been heard all over the world and people know that she's fighting for the rights of people.